Hey guys, Tom from Rollstar Airsoft, bringing you a video on how to properly change a CO2 cartridge for an Elite Force 1911 or any CO2 blowout pistol slash rifle that you may have. So the reason I'm bringing this video to you guys is because I personally work here at Rollstar Airsoft and have had lots of people come up to me and ask me how to change a CO2 cartridge. Now mainly this is for Elite Force 1911s but this also could go for any gas blowout pistol. Obviously it's going to be a little bit different considering your magazine, things like that. So this is mainly focused on the Elite Force 1911, but this can do for all other CO2 dash blood pistols slash rifles, and these are the steps that you're going to need to take. The first thing that you need to do is go ahead and get your magazine, as well as a unused CO2 cartridge. Now the cartridges we use here at All Starsoft are Falcon Tactical, um, it's just a respectable brand, and you know that this CO2 is not going to be some cheap stuff that you might find at Walmart. So this is what we use, you can pick any brand or company anything that you want whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you're done likes all right so a couple things that you're going to need for this video obviously is your elite force 1911 magazine a co2 cartridge some silicone oil if you have it you don't have to use this but i would very highly recommend this as well as a allen key for your magazine now this allen key in particular is a quarter inch head key this actually came with the elite force 1911 so you're not having any problems there, but if you don't have one, I'm sure you can steal one from your dad or, you know, find one around the house somewhere. But that is the size that you're going to need for this particular magazine. So the first thing that you need to do is there's actually a screw at the bottom of this magazine. You want to go ahead and put your Allen wrench in and loosen it. Now, as you can see, you can see the screw backing out. And all you need to do is take this out enough to give you room to put the CO2 cartridge in. Now. Once you have done that enough, you should be able to slide the CO2 cartridge in and it will sit down 100% properly. If you don't screw it in all the way, say like this, as you guys see here, it's not going to go in all the way, so you're going to make sure that you just unscrew it all the way and then it'll pop right in. Now before you go ahead and install your CO2 cartridge, take your silicone oil and just put a small drop right on the top of the CO2 cartridge. So I'm going to spray mine on right here. This one's actually kind of goopy, but nonetheless, it'll do the job. So once you have your silicone oil on there, you can go ahead and insert your CO2 cartridge into your magazine, as you see. Now the next step is to slowly screw in your CO2 cartridge with your provided head ski until you hear the hiss. So I'm going to do this real quietly so you guys can hear it. Alright, so as you can hear, the hiss went away. Just tighten it all the way down until you hear the hiss go away completely. Make sure that you are not leaving your magazine too loose so that you're losing CO2 in between the valve and your CO2 cartridge. Alright, so once you've done that, your magazine is ready. You can go ahead and load this with BBs, put it in your Elite Force 1911, and go have some fun. So, that is actually going to wrap up this video on the Elite Force 1911 CO2 install. Um, I hope this helped you guys out. I know a lot of people are having problems with this, and I wanted to address it just so that there were no questions anymore and you guys know how to do this now so if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like or a comment telling me if this helped you guys and what i can do next things like that make sure you, you subscribe to stay tuned with all the latest videos and latest things that i'm up to hope you guys enjoyed this video this is tyler from all Soft, signing out